Hello, what's going on? I really hope that everybody's doing good. Schedule's running on point, right? Beautiful. For the Muslims, yeah, we just from celebrating Eid al Fitri, you know, the end of the holy month of Ramadan, the fasting stuff and everything, all right? So, welcome back. Shout all day, every day, Success Path Master Call Me Esden. This is Success Path Podcast, episode 2. And actually, right here today, I'm going to talk about some ways to make social media work for your business. Definitely. You're using Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Pinterest. No problem. This is your episode. In social media, you must not only engage but also engage consistently. The key to building meaningful relationships is to join the conversation. By reaching out to people in your community and respond to their comments, you can really set the agenda. Pick one platform to start with, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram or any other from the growing list of choices. Learn a little about the channels before you decide. They do have different characteristics and are therefore somewhat different in how you can best present yourself. For example, LinkedIn is more powerful and more popular in the business world and has a very large international following. Meanwhile, Instagram is more visually oriented, you know the pictures network, yeah, the selfie people, you know yourself. So Twitter is very newsworthy with quick comments and responses and Facebook has many businesses but the approach is more social, it's like that. Each also has slightly different user demographics. Most important, find out which social media platform is the one your customers spend their time on because that's where you want to be. That's where you need to be. Go find them and engage, all right? So here we go with some eight beautiful tips on how your business can really grow using that same social media you're using today. All right, number one, be authentic. Be yourself. Share and tweet and post the things that interest you only. Don't try to be what you think other people want you to be, so you gotta be yourself. And don't work too hard to make everything perfect. If you do, you'll either never put anything up or worse, break trust with your customers and trust me, you don't want to do this, you don't want to get to this line, alright? You don't want to break trust with your customers, you need to build that trust with those people. Whether it's Twitter, Facebook or Pinterest, what matters are your thoughts. Post things that genuinely interest you and your community and you'll see how the following will be. Number two, engage, engage, engage. I've said it three times, you know, as to emphasize and to show you that there is real importance in this point right here. The primary goal on social media is to build relationships and add value. This is where most people fall down. They work so hard to create content and push it out, but then they fail to step in and engage with their audience. That means don't talk at people, but post what you think is cool. Talk with people and really engage. Respond to their comments. Jump into communities. Share your perspective and point of view. Number three, document. Don't just produce. Overproduced content tends to turn people off on social media. Plus, you need so much content if you really want to do that. You need video, audio, blog posts, quote boards, pictures, etc. That most people don't have time and resources to put it into production and make it look fancy. People do not care and they don't even care about what you created last week. Think about it. All they really want is to get to know you, experience your day with you and relate to you. As a result, it's much more powerful to document your life in real time than it is to take a bunch of time honing and polishing one piece of content that will take forever to be completed. Trust me. Number 4. Don't oversell. Do you know that guy at a party who always want to sell you an insurance? Now, don't be that guy. Get to know people, engage honestly and join in the conversation. Don't dominate it. Mm -mm. Giving advice and offering suggestions will only make you seem helpful, knowledgeable and trustworthy. Cool as well, alright? So get people to ask you about yourself rather than telling them about yourself and they'll be more respected. Number 5. Commit yourself to a daily hour of power. Wow, hour of power? What's the hour? Now. Getting started with these technologies is quick and easy. Opening an account costs nothing and posting is free. In a few minutes, you can be up and running. Within an hour, you can reach out and connect with friends, co-workers and customers. Now here's the little secret. Spend one hour every day engaging with the community. That's it. In one hour a day, at zero cost, you can build an army. Trust me, an army. The cost in time and money is negligible, but the potential payback and exposure and attention is something you know nothing about. Trust me. 
Number 6. Monitor and protect your brand. Make sure to regularly frequent the sites, feeds, and pages that discuss your industry, product, or service. Look for posts that mention your company, respond to comments and complaints, using them as opportunities to engage, build trust, grow your brand, and collect market research. If you pay attention, you can really get ahead of potential problems. Number 7. You need to tell the people how to reach you. Make sure your fans know how to get hold of you. If possible, give them your website if you have one, email address, phone number, and social media handles. If possible, use the same handle on all social media platforms. All I'm saying is, if you know you have an account on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, YouTube, and everywhere, make sure you use the same name, right? Like for my case, I use Esdenjumane at Esdenjumane everywhere on all social media platforms, all right? So you go to Facebook, it's always slash facebook.com slash esdenjumane, twitter.com slash esdenjumane, Instagram, the com slash as you many youtube the com slash as you many it's like that you're gonna get me everywhere even linkedin it's all the same so make sure you do the same it's gonna be easy for an audience that already know what you are doing to follow you on all other different platforms because people always like to connect it everywhere everywhere online these days social media offers you a chance to build a massive sales force that will be more effective than anyone you can put on stuff your crowdsourced sales force will be out there telling other people who you are, telling other people who are interested in your product or service all about you. People are much more likely to trust your brand and make up a chase based on a friend's referral than by listening to anything you have to say. Now here comes the last point which is actually my favorite, invest in sound. If you're posting video or audio content, keep a couple of things in mind. Even though your color background and production values may not be perfect, Good sound is very important. Why don't you buy a good microphone for quality sound? Now, whatever the source of your video, then be sure there's enough light for people to see you clearly. You don't need to spend a lot of money, but this is one detail that you really need to invest in, trust me. And for those people who really want to improve their audio or sound situation in their videos or podcasts, contact me. I got something for you. You really want to improve the sound of your podcast or the sound of your youtube channel just holler at me contact me i'll be having a thing or two to make it better so it's like that my name is s so make sure you subscribe this channel till next time be ready for episode three success path each one teach one